We've got a great show for you guys today. We're gonna update you on our last clutch, which was a killer leopard clown to an arroyo. Um, you guys saw it in the eggs and we cut them and stuff. So now we'll update you on those as well as a couple other things we're gonna be doing. So stick around. Ben and Ryan, r and Reptiles. Ryan uh, has been working on some new racks that we're making for some lizards. And uh, I said, hey, we gotta stop and do a little film. We got some swag or something. People sent us stuff, so uh, we're gonna open them up. How about you open this one and I'll open this one. This is j and V Reptiles sent us something, so I'm gonna open it. Not to be confused with j and V and R reptiles, I think is good. J and V and R and S. Maybe this is the same one. These guys, have, I feel like, I feel like we got one like this already. No so, way. Yeah, I think that we did. Uh, we right. definitely didn't get that. So, yeah, J and J and N and V reptiles. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we, we don't have that one. J and V and J and N and V. It's got to be here somewhere because I saw it. Oh, it is. We didn't hang it on the fridge yet. J and V and N. What? J and N and V. They, they gave us a couple new ones though. This one's cool. How did it not get on the fridge? <laughs> Somebody's been slacking. Who the heck is in charge of the fridge? <laughs> I believe that's you. The fridge -abator. Um. So that's a cool one. I'm this sorry, is another Andy. one. Just like the last one. I like these stickers. And this one's new, I believe. So they all look cool. Thank you so much for your support. J and N and B. That's awesome. And if we didn't send you stickers yet, we're gonna send them to you. I think that we did, but I can send some more since send, they sent us send more. Send, since they sent us twice, I'll send it to them. Uh, you I'll show some, them. You have some <laughs> limited edition ones, I think. In the, we do, we do have something or other. Limited edition. That's so serious. Got Eric Very Fimo cool. On. I know. So yeah. Thank you, J and N and V. Looks like J and V. But it's J and N and V. Are you sure about that? Yeah, that's what this sticker said. J and N and V. It's a snake, that's not an ampersand. I think that's what they mean. Alright, thank down you very below. much. <laughs> We getting back to you on that. All right, so this is a package from uh, Mike Ross. Yep, not Rossi. I think his friends said that they call him Mike Rossi. Um, I don't know, he sent us a little present. So we appreciate that, Mike. We're gonna check it out, see what's going yep. on. What is this? <laughs> it's looking like something I wear. Oh no, okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> a gift for you. Oh. It's a gift. <laughs> okay. That is some fine Unwrap gift your wrapping. Unwrap before opening this envelope. Is it, oh, I didn't know that Amazon gift wrap things for you. They do have that, that uh, button you can do on there, but I never knew what it meant. I thought it was just a gift receipt. You got. That is a fancy pants bag, a gift for us. Does this open up the same? Thing? Yeah. It does. Hang on. And he got his <laughs> new scissors. Right on. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> What's it say? You guys said you need a new scissors, so I hope these work. <laughs> That's awesome. I did say in the video, man, we need sharper scissors. That's funny. Look at that. These are Too some. Bad. Oh, and they got the little blunt in ones, so you don't cut things. Smart. Thank you, Mike. We love gifts. Cool, man. We appreciate it. Mike is the guy that that we sold the egg to. That turned out to be uh, really, really cool. Just shut out today. Just shut out today. I'm excited, which one's which? Hang on, this is the one. This is the one. Thank you, Mike. And this is your unbelievable baby. Got a screaming deal. So, I don't know where our trash can went. Woo, missed. <laughs> I can't tell if you can see that in the video, but it's awesome. And we will be updating you guys on that clutch at some point yeah unbelievable that's 
<sighs> Unbelievable snake. <laughs> so it's really fun doing that kind of stuff and we enjoy it. And uh, thanks Mike and thank you J and N and V. Let's get into it guys. We're gonna give you this update on the pastel, pastel leopard clown. So it's a killer leopard clown is the male. So it's double pastel, which makes it the killer and leopard. And then it's a visual clown. And the uh, mother was an Arroyo, single gene Arroyo. So here we go. Possibly a Rio. Possibly a Rio. And what Rio is, if you watch some of our other videos, is that um, Rio is a super form of Arroyo. So it's two Arroyo genes together. And that would mean that all the babies would be Arroyo. So we're gonna show you this guy here. So everything in this clutch should be pastel. And this is a leopard, obviously. You can see the crazy pattern here. And the head stamp has this plus sign head stamp on it, making it, obviously it's a pastel. Um, it has all this crazy patterns here. And we're not positive on the Arroyo on this one. We think it is because of a couple of things like this dot here and this one here. But Leopard also does some of that stuff. A couple of these squigglies and everything's really smooth, which with Leopard, it should be a little bit more jagged. Um, leopard, you'd get the diamonds a little bit more. So, this is likely Arroyo, but we'll see. So, that's one, and that's one of our males. We had a good ratio here with this clutch. Um, we had seven eggs and five females and two males. And this is the other one that's a male. This one's a little bit lighter, but we think this is the exact same thing. The head stamp is a little lighter and you can see similar things with this one. Um, these connected alien heads from the leopard gene and uh, some of these uh, cool spots here like that makes us think that it also has a Royo, but this one's again a little bit tougher to call for us. The edges are definitely more rounded on these than you would expect from a, a leopard, which you'll see a little bit more of in a couple more of these animals coming up. So very good. We got another leopard though, so that's cool. And all of these will be 100% head clown, which is a plus. For us. Hey, stand there. So these guys just shut out and now this one doesn't have the plus as pronounced in the head, but it's a very light head and uh, Ryan's phone's going off. Please ignore. <laughs> so you still see these connected alien heads here, still very rounded edges these curly cues, if you will, how it swoops up. Definitely not a typical leopard or pastel leopard, we think, but again, another one hard to tell. And we will show you what we want to see in a in Arroyo soon. Um, and this one I would call Arroyo as well. This head, is even lighter than the last one. So you can see the variation as pastel plays in with leopard. This again is a leopard, 100% head clown. And you can see some of these spots here on the dorsal that I like to see um, in the Arroyo spot like this. These alien heads go up and over the dorsal, kind of making like a saddle almost, but are really, really compressed and reduced, which is something also that Leopard does, unfortunately. So still makes it difficult, but I would call this a Royo. But uh, we'll point it out in the next, the next two here. So 
this one. Pastel. This one is a Pastel Arroyo Heck Clown. 100% Heck Clown. So just a Pastel Arroyo is a lot easier to see. Obviously, it doesn't look like a regular pastel. These are very, very dark in between the pattern. You get these islands here. They look, they remind me of little putting greens on top. And you can see it here in the head and top of the neck here. These spots here, the connected dorsal stripe with these spots inside them. Um, very typical of Arroyo. Look at the little bullseyes on the side of the neck. Oh yeah, bullseyes on the side of the neck, that's just something pretty cool. But you can see the blushing in between the really dark, um, which is what pastel brings to this, and obviously it's a lot brighter than a lot brighter than a uh, normal, obviously. So, I say obviously like I'm some sort of expert, but <laughs> sometimes when you're working with certain jeans, you just don't know. Um, I guess I'll show you this this one and then there's one more pastel. This one's uh, an Arroyo, we think for sure as well. So this is a pastel leopard again. We got really good odds with the leopards, five leopards. Um, and this one, this is more of what I'd like to see. Usually it's up on the dorsal though, but these here are typical of Arroyo. It just doesn't look, that spot there, islands, the little putting greens. It doesn't look like a standard leopard. Sorry, I'm moving a lot, but you can see these connected alien heads with these little putting greens or islands. We can pull out a pastel leopard to juxtapose it if you want. A pastel leopard, we could. You hear, have a, a breeder size. So, can do so, that, but let me show you the last this, one yeah. and then we'll do the last pastel and then you'll see. Come here, you. This one is super high expression Arroyo. So this one is very easily described as the Arroyo because you can see a bunch of little things here. The alien heads here are reduced. You can see how dark it really is in between. The dorsal is super bright, which Arroyo will brighten up the dorsal. You have these putting greens all the way around. Oh, sorry. The curly cues. These are the curly cues, these little things here. Looks like a dog bone. Um, that's just for fun. And I like to see the striping on the tail. I know a lot of jeans actually do this tail stripe, but Arroyo does as well. So I like to see it as an addition to uh, the other things that I'm seeing. So this is clearly a pastel Arroyo to us. And uh, obviously it's not a regular pastel and it isn't leopard, so process of elimination that'd be pastel arroyo 100% head clown and a female so we're gonna have some fun with that clutch so let me grab this is a, a breeder girl that we have here and she's looking pretty good but as leopards go this is a pastel leopard and it's het clown, but the het, since it's a het, you wouldn't see it, but you can see these connected alien heads. They all are kind of bunched together, but they don't. And you see this here is similar. It's more of a black back. Yeah, this is, it's not bright up on top. Almost a full dorsal stripe. Yep. So it's black instead of a bright color. Um, in the blacks, there's way less blushing. You gotta pay attention to the camera. You're just pointing at my stomach. <laughs> Please comment below if you think that Ryan wasn't pointing at the snake. <laughs> With the camera, I mean. <laughs> I'm in wide angle. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, so you see it's melty, so clearly a leopard. See the side um, of the neck, you don't have the, any of the, you don't see any like bull's eyes or really like circles. There's no lone islands by themselves, things like that. But still, definitely a leopard. 
and a pastel. But it's these subtle differences that, that you look for when you're trying to ID snakes. Uh, a guy once said, and Ryan and I always joke about it, but a guy once said that he sees things that, that we don't um, <laughs> to us when we were buying a snake from him. And uh, he's a good guy, but uh, it's a, one of those things that sticks with us. And so then we started really paying attention to all the little details. And that's really what you gotta do. When you start stacking jeans, sometimes you look at things and you're like, I just have no idea. And it's those little subtle differences that really can call out what jeans you're using. So that is the update on our killer leopard clown to Arroyo. So hopefully we got a bunch of Arroyos and we did get five out of seven leopards and all pastels. So it was a good clutch for us. Thanks guys. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do us a favor and give us a like on this. And if you have any questions, give us a comment. Um, all this interaction helps YouTube put us out there a little more, so we appreciate that. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to us and share us with your friends, please. Thanks. Everybody knows you work for the Navy. So I, I realize that I'm really round on video. Am I really round in real life? Uh. I'm not trying to be mean. <laughs> Uh, okay. You're unique. <laughs> they, they broke the mold when they made you. Good thing we're on diets. Hopefully by a tinley we'll both be a lot thinner. Which is in like two weeks. Yo, uh, can I say something? That music what? is terrible. That was funny music I thought. Hey, I couldn't even watch the video. I'm like, this is... <laughs> was it really bad? Nobody commented on yeah, it. Somebody did. Oh, did they? Yeah, they're like, poor choice of music. I'm like, I agree. <laughs> it's really bad. I thought it was funny. It was like, I was like, oh, this, is, this is interesting. Certain parts I was like, oh, that's real weird. <laughs> I thought that it would appeal to some people that think that, I don't know. Anyway. It was hard for me to watch the video. <laughs>